Hi, Wilson. Wilson Morales from Black Film and TV. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hi, good, hey, thank you. How are you? <clears throat> Theo, was it ever confusing when you're on the set and you have to decide what, and they have to tell you which age you are? <laughs> Yeah, it was it was very confusing continuously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, luckily I was able to. We had a rule which meant that um, one day I would film one age, and the next day would be another age. So, uh, b in, uh, other than a few days, I basically was able to do that, which helped a lot because if you're kind of jumping around in ages in the same day, it's going to be a complete head fuck. Um, but but yeah, it was something that I had to keep reminding myself of where I am, who I am, what age I am, where I'm going and where I've been, because the story is, you know, not only do you shoot it out of order, but the story is completely out of order. So it was <laughs> complicated. Your character Rose is someone that's waiting and knows who her soulmate is, you know, mm. is that real life? Can somebody wait for somebody forever? Do you Ooh. think it can happen? Oh, do I think one can wait forever? I, I, I feel like, no, not forever. No, personally, I think crack on with your life if you don't mm. think it's it's going to come back around again. <laughs> um, that's not to say that I disapprove of Claire waiting for Henry. She knows that her life is going to be peppered with his absences, but the commitment and wherewithal that she has in these two being together when Henry is present is remarkable and admirable. I just, um, I just think that to wait for somebody forever uh, would would be sad, and 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 possibly the best way forward for that person would be to um, not wait forever hmm. and, <laughs> and, find, well and find someone else. You know, if if you haven't read the book or saw the film, which was years ago, and you're getting into this series. Theo, what makes Henry choose Claire? You know, she's six, he's 31. You know, and, and granted, you have to watch a number of episodes to get more of the answer. But initially going in, you know, well, what did no, that come but, about? Actually, well, for, for really, he meets, Henry meets Claire the first time when he's 28 and she's 22. <laughs> then, then they have a relationship and then only in his later years, when he's, you know, 39, 40, mm. he's thrown back to young Claire. So he, he falls in love with, with Claire. because 20-year-old. 20-year-old Claire, because that's, that's how it happened. And then the nature of the story is, you know, love out of time or whatever. He, he, he's then introduced to the, to the, to the younger version of, of her. So that's, you know, he, he, he falls in love with a woman he meets in the library, you know. This is not your typical boy meets girl, boy loses girl and stuff like that. You know, it's, it's a story that you have to watch throughout. What went into saying yes to taking on this project and those roles that you're playing? Rose? Well, I certainly for me, what pulled me in was the fact that Claire has gone through something extraordinary throughout her kind of childhood. She, uh, her volve, her, her volve, my gosh, her world revolves around Henry from a very early age and uh, and he then represents you know this 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 figure of hope and love and she then becomes one half of a time traveling couple and that in 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 it's certainly kind of like with the project before I'd never experienced ever portraying a character who is going through these scenarios and complicated situations and and you know very turbulent kind of emotions throughout their their journey together and and for me it was it was really their tale their story and the fact that it was hbo and mm. stephen moffat had written this fantastic adaptation it all it all helped and David, <laughs> the big d nuts and then the big d um <laughs> directing all six episodes which was yeah a joy what about you theo <laughs> Um, I had I had read the book years ago um, as a student, uh, so I I, I like I, I love the story already, um, and then I remember when the you know to to audition for it the, the pilot came through and I he, Stephen did such a great job you know he loves playing with time and using that narrative as as a, as a tool in a really clever, funny but also in a dramatic way, um, so you know it was, it was something that I really wanted to try and get obviously. Well, I think it's a show that people will get into. Obviously, if you've seen the film, you get a longer version. If you haven't seen the film, you'll enjoy it. Wherever you guys are at, stay safe, take care. We'll talk down the road. Thank you very much. <laughs>